Popular U.S.-based crypto exchange Coinbase may soon find itself in hot water with federal regulators. The company's CEO, Brian Armstrong, announced on Twitter Wednesday, March 22, that the exchange has received a Wells notice from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, tied to Coinbase's listing of potential unregistered securities across its suite of digital asset products and services. Ryan Armstrong, the co-founder and CEO of crypto exchange Coinbase, has compared the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to soccer refs in a game of pickleball, criticizing U.S. regulators for not being able to agree on the rules of this new game. The comments came after Armstrong revealed that his firm had been issued a Wells notice on March 22, which he said, typically precedes an enforcement action. The Coinbase CEO has been critical of U.S. regulators' seeming lack of clarity around crypto regulation. There has also been an ongoing debate on who should be the primary body regulating crypto. Asked to explain the most recent development in NFL terms, Armstrong quipped, Imagine you've got both football and soccer refs on the field, but we're actually playing pickleball, fastest growing new sport in America. The refs can't really agree on the rules of this new game and one of them decides to change a call they made back in April 2021. The reference to a call they made back in April 2021 refers to the SEC's approval of Coinbase's application to go public. Armstrong argued that its filings clearly explained its asset listing process and included 57 references to staking. In a separate tweet, Coinbase Chief Legal Officer Paul Gruel claimed the SEC provided no clear rulebook on crypto regulations and that efforts to engage with the SEC are met with silence or enforcement actions. Both executives appear to welcome the chance to use the legal process to provide the crypto industry with regulatory clarity. We are proud to stand up for our customers and the industry in these moments, said Armstrong. Going forward, the legal process will provide an open and public forum before an unbiased body where we will be able to make clear for all to see that the SEC simply has not been fair, reasonable, or even demonstrated a seriousness of purpose when it comes to its engagement on digital assets. While other firms like Kraken reached a settlement with the SEC that required it to stop offering staking services to U.S. customers, Armstrong has repeatedly asserted that Coinbase's staking services are not securities and that the firm would be happy to defend this position in court if required. Crypto exchange Coinbase Coin told its customers on Wednesday that it will no longer offer Alberin token Algo rewards as of March 29. The token will still be available to trade. A Coinbase spokesperson didn't give a reason for terminating Algorand rewards but said in an email to Coindesk that all rewards from the Algorand governance period ending March 31st will be paid in early April. Coinbase works alongside asset issuers to provide rewards and continuously reevaluates our offerings to ensure the best customer experience. We have decided to discontinue Algorand rewards at this time, the Coinbase spokesperson said. However, Alberin Foundation's CEO, Stacey Warden, tweeted last Thursday that the move was in light of regulatory scrutiny. They've Coinbase now informed us that they are evaluating their services in light of recent regulatory scrutiny, and for that reason, they will no longer support Algo rewards for retail customers, she said. Coinbase disclosed late Thursday that the SEC alleged the U.S.-based company may be operating in violation of securities laws in the running of its exchange and staking services. The regulator has targeted Coinbase with a so-called Wells Notice that informs the business that the agency is planning a future action. Coinbase has acted as a service provider for Algorand, connecting the user in the protocol and passing on rewards earned from staking. According to the exchange's website, users can still earn staking rewards from the Ether, Cosmos, Tezos, Cardano, and Solana blockchains. The move involving Alberin comes as Coinbase's staking service faces questions after crypto exchange Kraken in February agreed to pay $30 million in penalties and shut down its U.S. staking as a service operation to settle U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charges that it was selling unregistered securities. At the time, SEC Chairman Gary Gansler warned other platforms to take note, hinting at possible further investigations into other U.S.-based crypto exchanges. Ripple executive David Schwartz took to Twitter to criticize the SEC's recent actions, suggesting that they may be motivated by incompetence or a desire to protect insiders and early investors. In a series of tweets, Schwartz criticized the SEC's actions, suggesting that they may be motivated by incompetence or a desire to protect insiders and early investors. Schwartz's comments were in response to Coinbase receiving a Wells notice from the SEC, which typically precedes an enforcement action. Unless you wanted to allow the founders, insiders, and early investors to profit and then shift much of the losses due to this litigation onto a large number of retail investors. 
I guess it could also just be incompetence that they didn't notice this sooner, he tweeted. Today's episode is sponsored by iTrust Capital, the number one crypto IRA platform in America. We allow you to invest in your favorite cryptocurrencies without worrying about taxes. That's right. iTrust Capital allows you to buy and sell your favorite cryptocurrencies completely tax-free. That means if you invest $10,000 into Cardano and it grows to $100,000, all of your profits are tax-free. Why is it tax-free? We took the existing retirement account industry and flipped it on its head. Instead of boring stocks and bonds, you can invest in crypto. How is it secured? Through Coinbase Custody, one of the leading cold storage providers with a $320 million insurance policy to protect against theft, hacks, and loss of funds. Roll over your existing retirement account or even start a new one from scratch. Questions? Schedule a free call with one of our crypto retirement account specialists and they can help you discuss your options. Start your crypto IRA today and retire early only at iTrust Capital. Click the link in the description to open a free account now. The Ripple executive questioned the SEC's motivation behind the recent enforcement action. If this is the SEC protecting American investors, imagine if they try to hurt them, he quipped. He expressed frustration with the SEC's application of the Howey test, which he described as not being simple as some people believe since the agency struggles to determine whether or not Ether, the second largest cryptocurrency, is an unregistered security. His comments echo those made by Meta's former blockchain lead David Marcus, who noted that even the top securities lawyers at major law firms don't know how it applies to many tokens. Could Coinbase be the next in the series of collapses that have rocked the financial space in recent times? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.